Hey guys, how you doing? It's uh, Tarantula Dan here, and I'm having a quick look at the um, the setup for my Alamira Dictoma, which are the Japanese rhinoceros beetles. Um, like I said, I mean I've done it quite. I think it should be quite nice for them, and hopefully, any problems that people might say you could have this, I have it already eliminated. So you can see here's a uh, my male, who's just chowing down on some beetle jelly which is uh, at least he's enjoying it I do have more of course and uh, the female is actually just down in a burrow like, well not really a burrow but she's dug herself underneath this moss she seems quite you know obviously she's down there she's happy and uh, I did originally have like a little bowl on here with the jelly in but I found that the uh, beetles could actually grab it they were sliding they couldn't seem to walk properly so I've now moved it onto this piece of wood um, it's a tr piece of bark that's been uh, uh, f uh, froze it to make sure nothing inside that will kill it and it's all it should be kind of you know sterile um, and so obviously they will be kept on there and they can obviously grab it and move around um, the substrate is if you, about five inches deep so they can obviously if they want to dig a hole or anything you know for any egg laying you know they've got plenty of substrate uh, this enclosure is two foot by eighteen inches by a uh, two foot high, I believe. So it's a fairly big enclosure, um, but obviously should provide them with a nice setting with plenty of hides and things. Uh, as you can see, I've got some uh, various pieces of wood in there. Nothing on it is like kind of splintered. It's all just kind of cut to like different levels and things. And uh, obviously, if they do climb that, which could be you know rather than just being flat. Um, I've also provided so if they do, if they did happen to fall off, which I know uh, does happen sometimes, I put plants by them as you can see, like by this one here. So if they did flip, they would be able to grab on something to pull themselves back over, which should eliminate that problem. You know, trying to think about uh, you know obviously that them, but I don't want to keep it just flat. I want it to look more like a um, you know like like a natural habit, I suppose, minus the jelly, <laughs> of course. Um, I'm going to put um, up here. I'm going to get like a. Uh, I've got another piece of wood which is. Uh, like a little square piece which um, should be uh, fine and on that I'll put things like um, I've got some melon, bananas and grapes and a bit of orange you know like really sweet fruits that uh, these love this is all they eat is fruit um, as you can see yeah it's quite big here I've got plenty of um, wood um, a lot of this yeah, you can buy from pet shops and things uh, fake plants lots of substrate cork bark in there and uh, it is quite big, but you know, I mean, at least they've got the room and everything. So, like I said, the females, she's hiding away, but I will be keeping my eye on them. And uh, so, yeah, guys, this is how I'm keeping them. Uh, you keep them at room temperature, plenty of ventilation. I've got my vents at the back, which have all opened up to keep it nice and air, air you know, air flowing through. Uh, my windows open, so it'll be lots of fresh air for them. Um, it's on top of my. Um, spider and lizard tanks so it might give it a touch of warmth like up through the substrate but shouldn't really heat up this too much um, I want to try and keep humidity uh, I don't want it all kind of dripping everywhere so I haven't actually put a water bowl in there and I will um, I might just give like this piece of wood and like the fruit a quick spray with some water um, but I'd imagine they should get all their moisture from the fruit that they're eating and obviously this jelly stuff so so you guys, that's a quick look at basically how I'm keeping them. Um, hopefully this should keep them happy. And there are awesome things and I've heard that they can lay eggs in, uh, you know, it might be towards the end of the year. And I've, um, the pot that they came in, I'm going to keep that with some substrate in. Um, so that when they do lay eggs, uh, I'll be able to take them out and keep them separate, you know. You can see I've got all this moss around as well, which actually came with them. Uh, this moss came with them, there's some other uh, lighter moss over there, which I provided for them as well. So, so yeah, I'm, I'm hoping this this should be okay for them. I will be keeping an eye on them. And, um, yeah, hopefully they will be happy. You know, hopefully. Uh, keep an eye on them. If I notice anything different, I will change what I think needs to be changed. So, yeah, guys, this is another quick video are my new arrivals and uh, yeah hopefully 
that will answer any questions about um, how to house them before people ask her. And yeah guys, if there's anything else you want to know about them, um, just let me know and I will answer for you. So uh, yeah, thank you for watching guys, and as always, uh, take care of yourself.